Church. That's the headline on DrudgeReport.com right now. It's all part of the new freedom. Oh, Alex, where's the tyranny? It's not bad. Where's the problem? I mean, sure, they're listening to everything we do. We have the business prison population in the world. Our cancer rate's the highest in the world. Everything's fine. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press. All the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Last week, Aries Armor that makes lower receivers for AR-15s got an injunction against the ATF raiding them without warrants and taking their customer list and seizing uh, their gun parts. Because, I mean, and I've had all the top experts on what they're doing is totally legal and lawful. But the ATF, you know, does stuff like if, if a semi-auto gun misfires and fires two rounds at a shooting range, they have the shooting range people tattle on them, and then they come and SWAT team their house and put them in jail for five years. And it doesn't matter if the court even admits, no, these guns can malfunction and shoot two bullets. Doesn't matter, you're going to jail. Because the number one mission is wreck good people. Get good people in prison. Destroy America. Shut down the power plants. Ship the jobs overseas. Bring in poor, unskilled labor. Drive down the wages. The New World Order wants to break America, and it is. And as things get worse and worse, they tell the police, 
oh, you got to get even tougher on the public. You got to get even more revenue because everything's collapsing. And so they get even harder with the public and squeeze even more. All by loving New World Order design. Because they've done this in the third world over and over again. The globalists are quite public about what they're doing. So Aries Armor is going to be joining us for 30 minutes via video Skype on the road because they're going to court. So that should be interesting. We'll see how that goes. Uh, then the Green family legally and lawfully was producing medical marijuana, something George Washington did. He produced hemp that has no THC for ship sales and uh, for rope. And then he also produced what they called the toothache weed because they told you to smoke it when you had a toothache or a stomachache. The apothecaries bought it and he sold it. Those uh, bills of lathing and payments from before he was uh, the, the head of the U.S. military, the founder of the army, and then after he retired from being president, uh, it's famous, you know, the, this, uh, everything he did, the sales of corn and cotton and tobacco and uh, different types of hemp. And so for what George Washington did that was totally legal, the CPS admitted that, oh, no, you're allowed to grow medical marijuana. You got the licenses and everything. We're going to take your kids, though. And I want to warn everybody that, you know, let's say you're pregnant, you're at a party, uh, literally you smell some marijuana, that's enough to give you a positive. They're not going to tell you when you go to the hospital to have your kid or when they test your blood months before, that they're going to take them with CPS once they get them there. And then when your kid's all screwed up at age two with sores all over them in some government facility, they're going to put them on antipsychotics and brain damage them. And then when they've sucked all the money out of your daughter or son that you never saw again, they're going to throw them out on the street when they're 18 to be one of these zombies that wanders around talking to themselves. Because they're the loving government. Now, let me continue, though, with everything they lovingly do. Uh, the uh, Green family had their children taken, freebabybree.com, uh, because of the fact that they were growing medical marijuana. The CPS said, get this, someone might want to rob you because you have a greenhouse of marijuana. So if I drive a nice car or I live in a nice house, will they take my children? Well, the answer is yes. That's actually who they target. But it isn't robbers coming. It's, it's child molesting pot bellies known as CPS. On average, the highest rate of child molestation, just department's own numbers. I mean, who do you think wants that job? People that like to grab your kid and throw them in a car. They don't do it in white vans anymore. Now, am I saying all of the social workers are bad? No, most of the people that help old people, most of the social workers I've run into that help college students or whatever actually turn out to be nice people. CPS has the highest turnover of any state or federal job, 50 plus percent a year on average, because a lot of good people get into it and find out it's a dirty racket. There are quotas on kids, and we're going to be talking about that with that family uh, coming up in the third hour. Are you next? I can't tell you how many times I've been at Barton Springs or at a restaurant or in a movie theater and heard people talk about how their neighbor or their friend or their brother or the sister or them, how they've lost their child, their newborn child and their other children that they had in some cases because they got a positive marijuana. And it's upwards of 20, 30 percent can be a false positive. No judge, no jury. Your kids are gone. There's no lightening up on marijuana laws, folks. They're going to send the social workers after all the potheads. And George Soros is out there promoting it because he wants you stoned out of your brain. Let me tell you, folks, pot's so strong now. It's in the psychotropic class. People that I know that smoke it are zombies. It literally impairs their function. This is not your grandparents' marijuana. This is not your George Washington's marijuana. Now, that said, I'm for total decriminalization. You can go get high off stuff that's in your uh, chemical aisle. There's stuff, you, I mean, I, I can get a plant book right now at Barnes & Noble. In fact, I have them. And then go out into the woods of central Texas like an apothecary. They'd call it a witch a thousand years ago. And I could pick plants that would get me bombed out of my brain hallucinating. You want me to list them for you? Buckeyes, silver nightshade, black nightshade, mistletoe. Would you like me to continue? By the way, if you take too much of some of that, it'll make your heart explode. So folks, don't take it. You can go read the old recipes on how to cook it. And let me tell you, when you cook it in the black pot, you're going to want to run around with the witches in a circle with the broom between your legs. Because you're going to be hallucinating full out.
I've read about it. Now, the point here is that you're never going to stop. Listen, I, I've watched Blue Jays growing up go and get ripe China berries. When they're green, they're not alcoholic. But when they turn yellow and soft, they have alcohol in them. And the birds eat them till they get so drunk, they fall over. Where is the government agency to stop the Blue Jays getting drunk? Throw them in jail right now. You know how many animals, you know, you know dolphins eat poisonous pufferfish to get high? The question is, are you going to arrest a dolphin? I think we should, actually. We should have, like, the DEA in scuba tanks in the water. And, and, you know, when they catch a dolphin, and there's the headline, Docs reveals dolphins chew, pass around puffer fish to experience high. And see, they're smart. They don't eat the whole thing. It'll kill them. They just chew on it and get a little bit of cyanide. Nothing like a cyanide high, boys and girls. <laughs> Oh, the world is so incredible, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Anyways, just because I'm for decriminalizing marijuana doesn't mean I like the culture it's creating. If, if there's some people who can handle it at night like alcohol, it's better than alcohol on average. It doesn't kill your liver. It has a lot of good medical effects. What's, it's a magic plant. It really is one of the most wondrous plants out there, probably the most wondrous. And it certainly does help people that have glaucoma, who can't eat, who are on chemotherapy. I mean, it's got hundreds of uses. My issue is that doesn't mean that I endorse it as a panacea with the whole Denver culture of being so stoned, you don't know who you are anymore. And you don't work anymore. And you just, you know, sure, there are a lot of high-strung type A personalities that, you know, 9 o'clock at night, kids are in bed, go in their bedroom, fire up a, you know, marijuana cigarette, take a few hits off of it, and it, it, it's... In every study, better than Prozac. In every study, better than Adderall. In every study, it, uh, they're coming out with the cannabinoids and things in pills for kids that are hyperactive, and it's having wondrous effects. But that's because it's a very low dose, folks. It's a lot better than putting kids on Adderall and Prozac, you know, st stuff that'll eat their brain. And I'm not even saying that's good. <clears throat> but I'm digressing. There is a lot of news to uh, cover and get to. But, but while, while all this is going on, our culture is converting into a total tyranny. And I want to tell you a story now before I get to this article that's up on Infowars.com. Um, it's the top story on Drudge. Principal who told kids not to speak Spanish will lose job. This is in South Texas. The Hempstead School Board won't review the contract for principal who instructed our students not to speak Spanish in a rapidly evolving district. Yes, yeah, 60 plus percent of the kids in Texas are Hispanic, and a large percentage of them do not even speak English. Now, I'm going to explain why that's not good. Like many Texas schools are now Hispanic. And again, it goes on to say half the students, like many Texas schools, are now Hispanic. You mean from Mexico, Mexican colonization. Hempstead Middle School principal Amy Lacey was placed on paid administrative leave in December after reportedly announcing via intercom that students were not to speak Spanish on the school's campus. The Hispanic population of the rural area, roughly 50 miles northeast of Houston, is growing quickly. And Latino advocates say that it's important to allow Spanish in public schools. Let me explain what happens. Once the conversion's made, you can't wear American flags. It's offensive. And that's all over the country, from Texas to California. They're banned as a gang symbol. You cannot have the saluting of the flag anymore. You can't have any of that. It's the Mexican flag. That's come out. You can't have the flag at the local church. You can't have the flag at the local auto parts store or, or at the um, post office. It gets pulled down. You've seen that. I've seen the, 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 the immigration parades in Austin, folks. It's not Hispanic Americans. It's illegals with Mexican flags saying Mexico, 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 plan of San Diego, plan of San Diego. I mean, I don't see the Klan marching saying kill all blacks or Hispanics above the age of 16. The plan of San Diego, I mean, wearing T-shirts saying plan of San Diego. And I'm like, wow, you're saying you want to kill me? And then they'll have guys that are running it from UT. One of the guys looks just like, uh, like Pancho Villa. He does the whole same mustache and everything. I run to him repeatedly. He goes, that's right, gringo, and we're going to kill you. I mean, I have video of this stuff. And, 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 there, and, and, I mean, and it's like, we're going to kill you. Mexico, kill whites, kill whites, kill whites, kill whites, kill, 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 kill. And, and I'm sitting there 
watching this unfold, seeing this going, I made national news, my, the plan of San Diego, when I showed the people leading it, saying plan of San Diego, overthrow the U.S. in Texas, kill all whites above the age of 16. Now, the point.